no matter how good you are at what you do. Sometimes you need a little help from your friends. In the well, down in there. That's how it is with hay farmers and Heston. Heston, we know hay. Greetings. Thanks for joining us for your daily Lafayette County Fair update. Brought to you by Varenberg Implement of Higginsville and Osborne Investments of Odessa. The fair fairly well wrapped up last night with the livestock and ham auctions capping off the evening. There were over 50 entries in the auction. The Grand Champion Steer, owned by Ben Neendick, sold to River Valley MFA for 202 a pound. The Reserve Champion Steer, owned by Hunter Huster, sold to Quarter Bank for $1.25 a pound. Neil Barnett of Wellington sold his Grand Champion Bread and Owned Steer to Rickwood Masonry for $3 a pound. American Broiler and Mechanical purchased the first place Blue Ribbon Meat Pen of Rabbits from Lonnie Todd for $110. Hunter Todd's second place pen went to Jake's Refrigerator for $110. And the Quarter Bank purchased the third place pen from Tyler Mitchell for $105. Sierra Crowley's Grand Champion Market Lamb went to All Crop Farm Insurance for $2.20 a pound. The Reserve Lamb, shown by Riley Keeston, sold to Midmo Agri-Service for $2.30 a pound. Kristen Boland's Blue Ribbon Market Lamb brought $4 a pound from Lafayette County Truck and Tractor. Rector Chevrolet purchased the first place market pen of three broilers from August Burtz of Mayview for $375. The Grand Champion Market Goat, shown by Danielle Wildshoots from Bates City, went for $250 a pound to Kingsville Livestock. Rachel Rodenberg's Reserve Grand Champion Market Goat went to State Bank of Missouri for $325 per pound. FCS Financial purchased the Champion Smoked Ham from Emily Aversman of Concordia for $350. The Reserve Champion Smoked Ham, entered by Kylie Ferking, sold for $500 to Evans Equipment. The Grand Champion Market Hog, belonging to Jessica Strathman of Higginsville, sold for $4 a pound to Scott Homefeld Welding and her sisters, Tabitha's Reserve Grand Champion Market Hog, went to the Davis Creek Whitetails Unlimited Chapter for $2.90 a pound. A big thank you to the Higginsville Chamber of Commerce for the meal before the auction and FCS Financial for providing the watermelon. Orschlands provided the water. Also, thanks to all the volunteers for making this year's fair a possibility. We'll wrap up with the rabbit show and swine show results next. Holmes Osborne of Osborne Global Investor specializes in managing the investment portfolios for trusts, retirement accounts, and individuals. Whether you are looking for conservative investments or to grow your money, call Holmes Osborne in Odessa, 816-633-4444. In the rabbit show, champion senior buck went to Audrey Phillips. Junior buck champion was shown by Summer Laskowski. The champion senior doe belongs to Laura Sories. Champion junior doe, Savannah Swigert. The senior buck over nine pounds and eight months of age went to Lonnie Todd of Fortyville 4-H. He also showed the champion senior doe over nine pounds and the champion junior doe. In the breed fur class, Lonnie Todd took home the champion ribbon. In the Rex fur class, Savannah Swigert earned the champion prize. Rabbit Senior Showmanship went to Chantel Kappelman. Intermediate Showmanship went to Danielle Wildshoots. And Junior Showmanship was awarded to Taylor Dickmeyer. For the meat pen with three rabbits, Lonnie Todd once again took home the top prize. Todd Hunter received the champion ribbon in the fryer class, three to five pounds, and the champion ribbon for his roaster class entry. 
In the Swine Show, Colton Williams was named Champion Senior Showman, Allie Reed took the Junior Showmanship Award, and Jessica Strathman won the Intermediate Swine Showmanship Award. Champion Spot January Gilt was showed by Peyton Candy, Cole Ulrichs showed the champion Yorkshire January Gilt. Caitlin Neendick had the champion crossbred January Gilt. The champion crossbred February Gilt went to Caitlin Neendick as well. That's it from the Lafayette County Fair. Don't forget the Carcass Show is coming up next Tuesday at 6 at the Higginsville Processing Plant. A big thank you again to all the volunteers that made the fair possible. Good work to all the youth who showed at this year's fair. And a thank you to Osborne Investments of Odessa and Varenberg Implement of Higginsville for making your daily Lafayette County Fair update a possibility. For KMMO, I'm Melinda.